Everything's taken away. The shutdown has cost me everything. Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises going on honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the hopeful elect. All right, and as you can see off this video entitled, The Shutdown Cost Me Everything by the brother, um... The uh, brother put this video up, Bakar Moth, all right? And uh, brothers and elders and apostles been doing um, lessons on this particular topic about how the shutdown has been affecting the our people, all right? The Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? And as you as you have it, you know, you see these women and uh, these people, they are in, in great distress. But first of all, you... you, you have been, you appealing to the to the so-called white man, which is our enemy, about your your problems. All right. First of all, he don't he don't care. All right. Uh, whether it be Trump or whether it be uh, Obama, because he ain't our people either, or whoever is in office. All right. The uh, the scripture says, I'll I'll get this real quick. Uh, Bible shop, can you grab Revelation twelve and twelve. Mm -hmm. All right. It don't matter who's in office. All right. The thing is, it's gonna be hell to pay. All right, on you Israelites, on all the on the, on the whole world in general. All right, but particularly the Israelites. All right, let me see. You got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can read it. Now this is Revelation chapter twelve, verse twelve. It says, "Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the habitations of the earth." Right. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. All right. Woe meaning destruction. You got it. It says, "In the in the sea, in the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he has broken, he could slack it, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time." Right, the devil. All right, the so-called white man. The word "devil" means deceiver. All right, look at Trump. He deceived you people that he was gonna make America great again. But ever since he's been in office, uh, the majority of people have been what oppressed. All right, things have been getting worse. All right, because why he have a little time to rule? Uh, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh is on his way back. All right, now this is Isaiah 30 and 12. It says, Wherefore, thus said the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word. Yeah, you people don't want to hear the law of the Lord. All right, uh, all throughout uh, this chaos that's going on, ain't nobody looking to the Most High. Ain't nobody saying, well, let me get right with God. All right, it says, because you despise this word and trust in oppression, so whether the government shut down or closed, you're still going to be oppressed. Mm -hmm. It says, and perverseness and stay thereon. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach, <laughs> ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. So you ever see, a, a to, to give you an image, you ever see a, a, a wall, and let's say some water beating up against it, all right? And then the... the, the, the uh, It'd be, it'd be little cracks. You might see a little spigot of water coming out the wall, just a little stream. And then out of nowhere, all of a sudden, it just break forth and the wall and the wall just burst it down. All right. That's what this is. That's is what this is going to be like. All right. Now I'm going to jump to. Uh, this is Habakkuk one and five. It says, behold, ye among the heathen and regard and wonder marvelous, marvelously, for I will work a work in your days which you will not believe, though it be told you. Yeah, so you people ain't believing. We've been telling you, all right, from the apostles and elders on down for years. You people say, oh, this is like a, oh, you, you a broken record. But it's, uh, if the scripture says, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? We're telling you the truth. We expose, we exposing to you who the enemy is, and we're telling you how to combat it. All right? The only way to do it is for the Lord. All right? Now, um... 
jump to uh kind jump to uh let me see oh yeah this is the uh going to the apocrypha second Ezra uh the 15th chapter real quick this is uh right second Ezra 15 Mm. I guess I'm 16. Oh, you saw something? You got it. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Um, I was, uh, this is um, this is Second Ezra chapter 16, and um, I'm gonna start from uh, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start from 19. Uh, this is a uh, Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 19. It says, "Behold, famine and plague and tribulation and anguish are sent for scourge for amendments." It says, "But." For all these things, they will not turn from their wickedness, nor be nor be always mindful of the scourges. All right, because like the brother saying, man, all this stuff is happening, and not one person is looking towards the Lord, man. It's like basically somebody's doing something to get your attention, but you're going every single other way. You're looking out every single other door, except for right there that the person that's um um this person that's the, that's the cause of it. Mm -hmm. All right, no, now one person is inquiring is like, Lord, why is the Lord doing this? Let me go read my Bible about what the Lord says about the end times. Right? Mm -hmm. Let me go do this. Let me go do that. You know, it's always about, oh, well, let me fix my situation first. You know, that's why in the scripture says, uh, 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 in uh, Psalms, the 91st chapter says what? Because y'all, because you made the Lord your shield and buckler. Mm -hmm. That's, that's why he was going to save us, man. Not because we have the, uh, the, the knowledge, not because we, um, not because, oh, we're just some particular people. The Lord, well, to be honest with you, because the elect means chosen. Right. You know? So the Lord chose us to have, uh, 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 what we know, man. But because we had, uh, because we, but. That word chosen goes back to where he collect those, which means exempt from judgment through your Yahweh Shah, man. Mm -hmm. You know? We're different from the one third is different from the two thirds. All right. Yeah, and what makes them and what makes them different is that they're gonna they're gonna trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. the scripture says, Blessed are all they that trust in him. All right. So this is a uh, second Ezra 15 and 8. It says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their weakness. So you people basically you know, it seems as though you've been, you know, people been getting away with murder. All right. Just doing, just doing whatever they want to do. Just living their life, uh, living their best life. Ain't got time to go back and forth with these niggas. You know, the way the song go, just living in pleasure. All right. People just been uh, getting money, going to work, saving up so they can just go on vacation. So they can just basically experience what life, experience the pleasures of life. But the Lord said he not, he not, um gonna hold his tongue touching their wickedness now those scourges sit for amendment and amendment is to be uh basically when you go into the word it be to um to make something better mm -hmm. all right it's like basically like a whooping you know a whooping if you look at a whooping physically yes it looks painful it looks like it's um look like it hurts it doesn't look like a joyful time but if you look at it through a different aspect it also is correction all right because that child that person will never do that specific thing again even if you want to look at through and again, throw it in jail for ten years, three, three or ten years, you know, you will see that person. He would never do that. He would never do that specific uh, uh, crime. Uh, crime again, you know. So that's the benefit of it. All right. So amendment is is, is going to be sent upon this world to make it better. Yeah. All right. And make you. So you, you got it. Yeah. And, and it's just basically is going to make it better, right? Because right now the world the world is in complete chaos, man. Mm -hmm. It's weakening and it's being destroyed. All right. It says what a uh, uh, wickedness has polluted the whole entire world, man. Mm -hmm. And these amendments does seem uh, uh, harmful and scared. Through uh through a naked eye, but through spiritually, man, it's actually needed. Yeah. All right. Yeah, just like when you go to uh the the book of Sirach, it says uh uh these things appease uh the uh their maker. I mm -hmm. think it's like Sirach thirty nine and twenty eight. Mm -hmm. All right. So like like the brother said, when you get a whooping, first of all, when your parent, all right, if you if you do something wrong and your parent whoop you, then that's that's to make you better. So you can so you can be corrected, and that makes your parent better. You know they relieve. You know they it just it just builds up, and they finally let loose on you, and now they now they now they satisfied, and yeah. that's what. No, I was gonna say that's what uh that's what uh Yahweh, Yahweh did. It says what it pleased him to bruise him, man. Yep. All right. Now him we was talking about was talking about Yahweh shot, but why did it please the Lord to do? It? Is it was the Lord just some cruel like yeah hey, I get to finally whoop this little nigga? You know mm -hmm. no because he was finally getting back his son. He was finally getting his righteous son back. All right. You just imagine you uh, you raise your child up all the way to 12 and then your son go out there doing all type of uh, a manner of wickedness, selling drugs, uh, 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 just uh, every little thing you could think of, man. And you just sit and you, you know, all you do. Matter of fact, all you do is hear people it's like, yeah, man, I seen your son out there, man. Mm -hmm. And it breaks in your heart because that's you. You raise your son all the way to tr try to be uh, try to walk in the right path. Right. But he's choosing some totally other different path. Now, when he's actually come. 
you know, and, and, he, and you at your last breaking point, you just let go on him and you let loose on him and you hold him back. You know, and and, and 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 you see the next day, he's like, you know, he changed. He was like, yeah, dad, I, I, it's cool if I go to work with you, try to get application, try to get my life together. Mm -hmm. That's what pleases him. That's what pleased the Lord. Because by him doing all that, by him uh, 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 putting him on our cross, by him shedding that blood, the Lord was finally getting his son back, right? Mm -hmm. You know, he was finally getting that righteous and clean son because the Yahweh Shai has sinned in his past life. So Yahweh Shai is too, uh, uh, too pure to behold evil, you know? So he couldn't look at Yahweh Shai like, as, well, I'm going to just accept, succeed that, man, you know? Like the, the the law is it's above everybody. Yeah, you know. Yeah, the Most High. Yeah, the Most High. He, you know, he can't look on evil. Mm -hmm. You know, Second uh, Exodus fifteen and eight. It says, "I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things." So the Lord ain't putting up with these actions no more of wickedness. All right. It says, "In which they wickedly exercise themselves." Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complained continually. And what they saying? They saying, "How long, Lord? Mm -hmm. you, you know, we 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 died and we suffered for Thy name and righteousness. All right. So when is these? When you gonna pay back and punish the wicked? You know. I got something. Go ahead. You got it. This is Luke chapter sixteen, verse seven. It says, "And and shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you." And he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on earth? And that faith is going to come from who, man? It's going to come from his elect, you know? Let's imagine you come back from your house, man, and you see uh, all nine of your kids doing more damage to the house, but you see three of your kids uh, sitting there being in punishment, man. They're still in the room that you told all of them to be in, really, you mm -hmm. know? And they they probably just doing something, probably still in the corner, probably sleep, you know, They but they still in there, man, you know? And you, you probably, you probably just gonna close the door and let loose on the rest of the nine, you yep. know. So yep. that's how, that's how the Lord is, man. The Lord's going when He comes back, when He comes back home, will, will He find faith on faith on earth? And the answer is yes, man, because the elect, man. Yep. And He's gonna and He's gonna see because it says what this world has been greatly polluted with wickedness, but these men, even though in it, still hold my word true, man. Mm -hmm. Still try their best to, to to try to please me, man. That that looks towards something, man. I don't know if another person ever ha, ever had a friend. But, you know, and came to a group of your friends and everybody was talking about you, but you had that one friend like, hey, man, stop saying his name, man. Yeah. You know, and just had that one friend for your back, man, even though she wasn't there. That that actually touches people's hearts, man. Yep. You know? Yep. That's a, a faithful friend. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Isaiah 32 and 9. It says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. It's like it. And, it, and it's more than just, you know, doing the work and doing all that. You actually, I think the Bible is actually being lied to on a mass scale of the earth, man. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I, I can't tell how I can't tell how, how people angry get when people twist up their words. You see, how Jake, Jake didn't want to ready to fight when you say, I ain't say that. Yeah. Or he said, it. you lying on person that. Just imagine how the Lord feels, man. When mm -hmm. you read the scripture and, and, break it, and break it down completely wrong. That's why, that's why GMS is always about. We don't care what you do. Break down the scriptures right. We don't care if you with us. We don't care if you hate us. We don't care what you ever do, man. Just break down the scriptures right. That's all we saying, man. You know, you could be with us. You could be against us. We don't. We don't care, man. As long as the scriptures coming out right, do do you, man. All right, because that's the main. At, at the end of the day, you could be with this camp. You could be with that camp. You could say this. You could do this. You could do this on the Sabbath. You could do that on the Sabbath. Whatever. As long as you breaking down these scriptures directly and correctly, then hey, you ain't got no problem, man. You know, matter of fact, if you were doing it, I, I pray the Lord save you, you know? Yeah, that means the Lord dealing with you. Yeah. Breaking them down right. If you, you know, if you got, uh, if he gave you a portion of his spirit to, mm -hmm. to do so. Come on, man. Because that's, a, I mean, that's what the Lord, the Lord's looking for. Like, who, I mean, who's going to stand for me, man? My word is sitting here being broken down on a mass scale. Everybody know John three sixteen, and every, And you think everybody really is going to believe the way we break it down? They gonna be like, nah, that means that's talking about the old world and that. So you literally take them out to what the Lord said and twisting it to your own understanding. You know how you don't think the Lord feels a certain way about that? I meant if it's, I meant for it to be this way, you doing this way, man. You know, even about his uh, uh his world, man. I meant for these trees to do this. Esau just come and twist it and do this, man. Mm -hmm. You know, who's actually gonna feel? Who's actually gonna feel the Lord's pain and be like, man, this is not right. This is, something needs to be done, man. The Lord's just looking for compassion, man. You know, everybody want to do what they want to do, man, and not not. Uh, not considering what that's like, damn. Well, the Lord meant to be fit to do that way, man. How you think he feel? He created it, you know. Yeah, he won't. He won't proper judgment on the earth. Kind, kind. You got it, bro. Yeah, kind. All right. Uh, Isaiah thirty two and nine. It says, "Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear to my speech." All right. So this talking about uh, this referring because a, a lot of women, a lot of uh, the Israelite women 
of our nation have been living at ease based off the government, all right? Mm -hmm. And and a lot of men going to be affected as well, but it's going to be more harsh, harsher on the women because women are not equipped with, 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 with the strength that men have, okay? It says, many days and years shall you be troubled, ye careless women, mm -hmm. for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come, and we in the pro that's what we're in the process of the vintage failing, the gathering not come. That's just, that's symbolic of of the, the the amenities that comes from the government. It says, "Tremble, ye women that are at ease, ye women that are at ease," and that's what we saw at the, on that video. It says, "Be tr be troubled." Yeah, they troubled the, the the one elderly woman. She was you know she pawned everything. She holding on to her wedding ring. Well, get pawned that too. Shit. It says. Uh, Strip you and make ye bare. Yeah, pawned paw, all your goods. And gird sackcloth upon your loins. Yeah, that's representing mourning. It says, they shall lament for the teats. Right, the government, you know, the teat is a breast. And what? If you if you want a breast, that means that someone is suckling you. That means someone is nourishing you. All right? So what that means? That means the government uh, uh, got those teats. So when they when they stop this, and when they they in the process, of, it's February, uh, well, it's January 20th right now, all right? So they're in the process of stopping the SNAP benefits, which is uh, also stands for food stamps, all right? Shortly shortly, shortly after that, what's going to follow? And then if you pay any attention to, to government and, um, you know, uh, the, Demo the Democratic uh, parties, they give out funds from the government, and the Republican Party, they take them away. And with the with the attitude that Donald Trump got, it's gonna be a lot of government amenities taken away. Be looking for um, be looking for child support, uh, taken away soon. Be looking for be on the lookout for um, WIC. WIC. Yep, WIC. Be on the lookout for that taken away soon. Mm -hmm. Be on the lookout for um. And if you really look at it, that's this majority of like what, what niggas women, what nigga women really be on Section Eight, mm -hmm. WIC, child support. All yep. this is what really nigga women be on, man. You don't really see too many men on on Section Eight or mm -hmm. on child support on WIC. You know, yep. it's very rare. I'm not saying it's 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 an um it's a uh, uncountable, but it's very it's very rare, man. You know, when I hear a man that's saying, "Yeah, I get y'all, I get child support for my kids and food," I'm like, "Wow, I've never heard like." Maybe it's like one man I could think of in my whole entire life, you know? Yeah, there come a dime a dozen, mm -hmm. you know? And so these were all the things where um, all these little attributes from the so-called white man, the government, right? All these was things that had women proud, yeah. all right? Uh, uh, especially the uh, the Israelite woman, the so-called black woman, had them proud and, and boasting and 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 uh, treating treating the Israelite man like nothing. Now that's going to be taken away. <laughs> It says they shall lament for the teats, right? For the pleasant fields, look, section eight, mm -hmm. all right? For the fruitful vine, all right? It says upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars, yeah, upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city, all right? So it's finna, it's basically, it's finna get bad, all right? You finna have a, a prostitute, you a lot of women gonna be prostituting. All right, to uh uh to to feed their families and take care of their babies. Then a lot of a lot of uh, uh women just gonna neglect gonna neglect their babies. Mm -hmm. All right, might mm -hmm. might just drop them off at the fire station. Or might just leave the house. Yeah, you, know, you might hear a baby crying in the house and, and walk in there. It's just a baby. Yeah, you know. Hey, it says uh, uh the the love of many shall wax cold, man. Mm -hmm. so people people that you think that's, that that actually truly love love you or had supposed to have love towards something. Hey, it's it's gonna seem like they don't even care. You know, kind. Uh, this is Ezekiel. You was on? No, no, no. Go ahead. This is Ezekiel thirty-three and thirty-two. It says, "And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song, of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not." Right. So when we come up, when we like this video that we're doing now, and when we go out on the highways and byways and teach, that's a lovely song we playing. All right, and this song is basically instructions, like like a cha cha slide. Do this mm -hmm. to the left, yep. to the right, cha cha now, y'all. Yep. And some people just doing break dancing. <laughs> right. Uh, if they yeah. even attempting to right. dance. If they even attempt it, right. Most right. people just listen. Most people just waiting for the song to change. Mm -hmm. But this song is basically instructions that you might be saved. Yep. That you that you might be here from the scourge of the tongue. All right. That we that that it may be you may be protected in that day. Verse 33, and when this cometh to pass, what? 
all the destruction we talking what's the this all the destruction we talking about all the all the negative aspects of the scripture the lord ain't just lollipops and unicorns and rainbows and you know it don't work like hugs that hugs and kisses yeah hugs and x's and o's yeah. no it don't work like that all right it says uh, the the bad got to come before the good come it says lo it will come then shall they know that a prophet have been among them because you people got the mindset of seeing is believing. All right, and you're going to see it, and then it's going to be too late. Yeah, precept. You got it. This is Ezekiel chapter uh, 18, verse 27. It says, again, when the wicked man turn away from his wickedness and do that which is with that which is committed and doth not, and doth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his own soul alive because he considereth and turn it away from all his transgressions. And that's the scripture. It says, uh, my people do have not consider, man. Mm -hmm. Like, if you, everything we saying and bringing out and proving, going into documents, going into, going first of all, going into scripture, going in a, in a, in a, in a uh, document, going into uh, articles, going into history, going into policy, you're supposed to be like, hmm, well, let me, let me, let me, you know, uh, 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 somebody that had a little bit of sense will consider it, uh, yeah. at least turn over this information in their head and, right. you know. It says, and turn and turn, and turn turn away from all his transgressions that he committed and he will shall surely live, he shall not die. Mm -hmm. Right? Because what? He, you know, he, he showed that consideration, man. Consideration can go a long way. You know, some people don't even require you to even do what they say. They just require you to consider it. Mm -hmm. You know? You ever, uh, you ever heard the expression A for effort? Yeah, you know, and that's what we—that's what we hoping. Mm -hmm. We hoping that ba we hoping that based off our effort, we'll be saved. Yeah. All right, and then we give the first of all, you do what you will with the knowledge. All right, uh, the Lord just told us to go out there and speak to His children. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, whether they hear or forbear, now what you do, that's up to you. <laughs> this Proverbs one and twenty three. It says, "Turn you at my reproof." All right, turn. Let me see what that is. Yep, Shawab. All right, so you you don't went astray from the Lord, so return back to Him at His reproof, at His correction. All right, like look, the Lord out here correcting. All right, the Lord out here putting you in a um in a bad state to be in. Well, damn, look, go on, go on, look to Him. You know, go on, like, well, damn, what I'm doing? But you know what? They ain't they ain't looking to the Lord. It says, "Behold, I will pour my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you." And that's what He's doing through His men. Like, look, this is what the Lord required. This is what pleases him. This is what angers him. This is how you can get back in his good graces. It says, because I have called and you refru refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Regarded is basically you ain't consider. Quashab, to hear, be attentive, heed, incline, hearken, pay attention. All right, ain't nobody paying attention. And we just sitting back saying, I told you so. But not, not in the sense of I told you so like, like a nigga, but literally, like literally. Like I told you so literally. All right, where the Lord told you, okay, through us. All right. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 36, verse 6. It says, Lo, thou trust in the staff of a broken reed on Egypt. Right, and the staff is basically a, a rulership of power. Mm -hmm. All right, and Egypt is sim Egypt is symbolic of America America, and, and Egypt's power is being broken. All right. And uh an example of that, you got all these countries rising up talking against it. When America wasn't, when somebody in authority, when somebody in power, like true power, you can't just be saying what you want about them people. You can't do it. Somebody going to come and check you. Hey, hey, watch your mouth. America used to do that. But now America uh, is a broken reed. All right. That staff is, they don't, they don't got the power they got. Now look at the, first of all, look at the economy. You got it, bro. Also, um, that staff also, it says, because uh, when it says, low thou trust in a, in a, in a broken staff. A staff is also something that you lean upon for help, mm -hmm. all right? Something that's, that's supposed to support you, yep. you know? It's like um, when people, uh, uh, when old people walk, you know, they can't, of course, they can't walk like, like they did 20, 30 years ago, but they use that staff to like a little, a little bit of support, you mm -hmm. know? It only helps them to do what they're naturally doing. So women get on food stamps, Section 8, doing all this to what? To, to, for support to live on, you know? They what they they get food to put it, food in their house to get Section Eight to put uh, to to live mm -hmm. and get a well welfare a welfare check to get money to do all the little holy shit they get they yep. do man depending on how many kids they get yep. you know so it's their it's their support but it's like a broken staff it's like a little sharp point so when you put your hand on to lean on it to for, for support 
it's going to pierce you and it's going to do more damage than it is doing harm. I mean, it's going to be doing more damage than it's supposed to be doing good, man. And that's what you're seeing now. Yeah. They took away all that. Now it's doing you way more damage because you spent your life 40, 50, uh, uh, 20, 15 years now uh, leaning on that staff so long where you actually broke it. You know, you became fat. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you, became, you literally became fat and you broke the reed in this and it, now it's stuck in your hand now, man. You know, you became fat with pride. So Lord broke that reed, stuck it in your hand. Now it's doing all. Now it's taking away all the benefits that you had, man. All right. Now you're gonna feel the pain. It says, "It says, Lo, thou trust in the in the staff of a broken reed on Egypt. It says, We're on. If a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So so is the Pharaoh of Egypt to all that trust in him. It says, and but, uh, and and Donald Trump is the modern day Pharaoh. Yep. And everybody that's trusting in him is is being let down." Make America great again. I don't uh, look, look at look outside. You can't then you ain't even got you ain't even got people to uh to to put ice and shovel the roads. You still got potholes and you you know you got potholes there, but yeah. let alone let alone um job security. First of all, a government job was supposed to be the most secure job there was. People used to boast in that. Oh, I got a government job. My shit's secure. I'm you know I'm I work for the government. So if you ain't if your if the if a government got if a government job ain't secure, then what type of what type of uh support or, or or trust can 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 Donald Trump and his you know the government system actually provide? You guys. Says, but if thou say if but if thou say to me we trust in the Lord our God, it is not He whom high places and whom altar Ezekiel Hezekiah have taken away. It says, and say unto Judah and to Jerusalem, ye shall worship before this altar. And, you know, that was basically. That's the point. That was the point. That's what I was saying. Um, what was it? Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to get. So I can get this right quick. This is Second Ezra, chapter 9, and verse, like, yeah. Uh, all the nine is good. Yeah, it really all the nine, but I don't want to get a straight point just to. Can you read till you find it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Proverbs 1 and 25. But ye have said that not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. So you, since you rejected the Lord, it says, look. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. All right? When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Mm -hmm. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Why? For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh, right? Because these people didn't want discipline. All right? The scripture says the care of discipline is love. So... Walking in his ways mean watching your step. People wanted to wanted to have their cake and eat it too. All right, just do whatever they wanted to do. It says they would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Let's look at despise. Now ataza to spurn, contempt, to abhor. All right. So you hated you hated how the Lord felt about what you should do. All right. It says, therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices, because this is this is the outcome of not following the Lord. All right. This is this is what you get. OK. When you when you when you go astray from Yahweh by Shimei you get uh, you get death, anguish, uh, uh, trouble. All right. Verse 32, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. You got what you wanted out? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, second Ezra chapter. I can turn from you. Hold on. Second Ezra chapter nine and verse. I'm going to start from verse nine. It says, then shall they be in a pitiful, pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away. Right, it's like, and a, it's like, and a lot of you, and a lot of you Christians, 
Y'all don't abuse the ways of the Lord, man. Yeah. A lot of you people that uh, 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 that liken to call themselves Christians, going in the church house, don't abuse his ways. You still committing wickedness and sin, talking about you're going to pray tomorrow, talking about uh, 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 you're going to get baptized again. You got people getting up. Uh, when I was when I used to go to church, you got re I'm gonna rededicate my life to the Lord or get baptized again two, three, four times. All right, you got it, bro. It says it says and they that have cast cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments for such as in their life they have received benefits. Yeah, the government. Mm -hmm. All right, you have received benefits. You was you was you was you was living your life like it's golden. All right. You was living your best life. You got it, bro. And have not known me. They that have loathed my law. Yeah, you 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 spurned the law of the Lord. You despised it. You contemned it. All right? God want me to be happy. Yeah, you got people that say that. You know, the, the brother did a video about uh this 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 girl said uh, uh God wants you to be a slut or some shit. And the uh the 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 guy Tracy Peterson was saying God wants you to be a slut, and she was like, "God want me to want me to do whatever makes me happy." So for all you homosexuals out there, that make you happy. So the Lord want that for you. He want to break his own law to make you happy, to please you. It says, "Uh." And that ain't in the Bible, all right. That ain't that ain't in there, all right. You please the Lord in righteousness, all right. You got it, out. It says, "Uh." They that have lowered my law while they yet had liberty. You had liberty. You had time to turn back. See, it ain't always going to be. The scripture says, seek you the Lord while he may be found. You can't have that uh, while the evil days draw nigh. You can't have that notion that I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it next week. I'm going to fix it later. You got the liberty now. While you breathing now, you do it now. Because the, the scripture says the Lord come back suddenly. You got it. It says, uh, while they yet had liberty and when... As yet, place of repentance was open unto them. Because it's open now. The place of repentance is open right now. It says, and understood not, but despised it. It says, it says that. It says what they um they uh, speak evil. They speak evil of things they know not. Mm -hmm. You know. It says the. It says and it says the same must know it by death by pain. So you gonna know it. You gonna know the law as an Israelite. You gonna know it eventually. Yep. All right. That's why the you know apostles and elders and other men teach like yeah you. Back in the kingdom of heaven, everything gonna be cool. You gonna be all right, but that's the way you gonna know it. Like that whooping, like 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 the brother gave the analogy. It's about nine to ten kids in the house. Only three, of, only about three of them doing the right thing. But then, uh, uh, your father come home and the, the the rest of them that ain't doing the right thing, they getting their ass whooped. But at the end of the day, everybody gonna eat. Everybody gonna you know partake in the goodies. It's just them them that 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 uh that portion that three. That did the right thing in the beginning. They gonna get it first. Yeah. All right. And they gonna they gonna be honored. They gonna be. It always happened like that. You know. You got some more. No, that was it today. Uh. It's Isaiah sixty. I will. I ended with this. If you got me. Sixty three. Sixty six. Oh no, no. Go ahead. Okay. This Isaiah sixty six and fifteen. It says, "For behold, Yahweh will come with fire." And with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So that's how the Lord coming back. You people thinking the Lord going to come back floating on the flying nimbus like Goku or, some, or something. All right. Because the scripture says he coming back with a cloud. That's symbolic. All right. The Lord coming back in a, in a, in a so-called UFO. All right. Because the scriptures liken them as uh, chariots. All right. Chariot in the Hebrew. Marakab or Marakaba, a chariot, all right? A chariot, a place to ride, a riding seat, all right? And that's what and that's what a a, a a spaceship is, basically. A UFO is. It's just a it's just a a, a aerial vehicle. All right? And you and you got many reports of that as 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 time draw near and nigh, you got many reports and sightings of uh, unidentified flying objects, man. All right, defiant defiant gravity. All right. It says, and that's how the Lord coming back. All right. Verse 16. For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh. And that word plead means judge. All right. And the slain of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai shall be many. Okay. You had something to say, bro? No, no, I was on my own. You know, so with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the elect. 
All praise is glory and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us this truth and who ruled well through the scriptures. Double honors to you brothers out there prophesying the truth, sincerity, and diligence. Shalom. Shalom.